Hello everyone. Um, so I'm kind of I'm remaking this video because from what I understand, my video that I posted yesterday, the audio is not too good. So we gonna fix that right now, bro. Um, I'm going to a Google Classroom. I should have had this pulled up before I did, but I did. So this is gonna be posted right underneath here uh, with clarification on how to do the foil portable. Okay. So check this out. We talked about foils just in class. Foil is somebody who a uh, character, object, or event that creates a motion response from you, uh, fr from or within a character. So, for example, my mom asks me all the time, "How was your day? How was your day?" And I'm like, "Fine, mom. Fine, mom. Fine, mom." And she's like, "How was your day? How was your day?" And I'm like, "Fine, mom." And I get really aggravated with my mom when she keeps asking me that question. But odds are. You probably get aggravated when your parents ask that question as well. So that's nothing new right there. Um, we don't want to see me. Go away, Mike. There we go. That's much better. I was scared. That weird, creepy man. He's going bald and he's scary. Um, all right. So let's see here. Let me show you what you're going to do with the foil foldable. What you're going to do, take a sheet of paper, fold a hamburger style. Let me show you what it looks like right here. Okay, so I took a sheet of paper and I folded it hamburger style. Oops. There we go. Boom, just like that. I folded it hamburger style. So, um, there. It was wide open like that. Now it's folded hamburger style. Let me put my name on the back. But pretty much what you're going to do on the front, you're going to create slash draw slash design the word foil. And I'm not very artistic, so this is what I did. Please forgive me. And I just put the definition. A character object or event that creates an emotional response in another character. Same wording what I had on, on the text. Here's an example of one of the kids that are in class, what they did. Here's another example right there um, with the word and the definition. Nothing too fancy. Use your that artistic skill that you have inside of you to do that. So on the outside, write, draw, design the word for, write the definition. On the back, you're going to put your name. Okay, but only if you want credit. Okay, so on the back, you'll put your name, but on the inside, this is the important thing. Get three examples of foils in your life. Who or what are they? Explain them using complete sentences. Make sure you have at least three sentences per person. Okay, so for example, my mom, when she asks me how I'm doing, I'll lose my patience. And I'm guessing you do that to your mom as well, okay? I know that some of my friends, when I was in school, I had friends in class that are people that I shouldn't sit near because if I sat near them, I would get in trouble because I would act stupid when I was around those certain people, okay? Other friends, I would be under control. I'd be calm, collected. But around some other people, I would lose my mind, okay? So they were foils to me, okay? I know that I get really aggravated on Mondays because I'm like, oh, it's Monday. And I kind of have a pessimistic look at life. On Fridays, I'm like, yay, it's Friday, oh. I'm all happy and everything, so I'm a little bit more easy going on Fridays, okay? Let me show you what some of these look like. Um, again, these are just two kids in class. They did foil, they got the word, they got the definition, and then they explained in detail their three foils, okay? So this one's about my sister. It's about having my phone and the way you act when you have your phone. And last example is how you feel about their friends, okay? So she did a good job here. He or she did a good job explaining um, in detail the foils in their life. Here's another example. Um, and you can tell they explained in detail who their foils were and everything and how they felt about them. So that's all you got to do. Your remote kids, remember, you're just going to, when you finish this, take a picture of the front, take a picture of the inside, make sure I can read it, send it to me by email. I'll give you credit, okay? If you got any questions, Holler at me. This is due on Friday. Um, make sure you get that done so I can give you credit. Um, please email to me when I get an email. I will send you a response, okay? But if you got any questions, make sure you reread those directions. They're pretty straightforward, okay? If not, holler back at me if you got questions. Talk to you all later.